Bears will fall out of the first round. You don't think he should, but you think he will. I don't think he will. The question with Jabril is there's two things now that have come out in the last 24 hours, although one of them, they might have both been around with NFL teams for a while. One is the diluted sample. Uh, the other is now reports the team didn't like teams didn't like he sat out the orange ball, obviously suspicious as to whether or not he was actually legitimately hurt. Uh, Gator, do you think this stuff is really hurting Jabril Peppers? Yeah, I, I think it could hurt him uh, just for for draft standing. Yeah, I, I absolutely do. I mean, I, I'm the one who thinks it's true. I don't think he's going to be a first round pick now. Is that I, more I think because, he was. I think, do, do you I'm, think it's a diluted sample or do you think it's this new thing that teams are questioning whether or not he was really hurt? Uh, I think it's more, you know, it's probably a combination, but uh, the diluted sample, I think some teams might be looking for an excuse not to take him at the end of the first round, which is where I thought he was going to go, somewhere between 20 and 32, mm-hmm. that bottom third. So maybe he's, th- this could be enough for teams to to just back off and say, you know what, not on a first round pick, but I'd love him as a second round pick. I think a lot of people would say that. By the way, we're uh, live on Facebook right now. You can... Uh, to see how the show works and you can send us questions and comments, whatever. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven open lines, ticket text nine seven one three six. So there's that, and now there's the case of what TMZ is reporting is Gary on Conley, the cornerback from Ohio State, is expected to be a top ten, top fifteen, sure first round pick. Uh there is a report with details um from a, it started with a WOIO television report that a woman has accused an unnamed NFL prospect of sexual assault. TMZ has a lot more details saying that it is Gary on Conley from Ohio State. And that is a the details from this story are just strange. But according to the report, the accuser says she met Conley in an elevator Asked her to have a foursome with another friend of his. The woman said she declined and offered to watch other people have sex instead. And then basically when they got to the room, the accusation is he raped her. And she called 911, described her assailant. She went to a hospital where a rape kit, rape kit was administered. She refused to speak to cops afterwards. As for Conley, two of his friends who were at the hotel were interviewed by police and told cops Conley never hooked up with a woman. She was just mad she got kicked out of the room. Conley's attorney spoke to Cleveland 19, calling the accusations ludicrous and ridiculous. The problem is, is that Conley now has no chance to defend himself against these charges before the draft. Now, if he did it, I don't really care. But if he's innocent and, you know, I mean, innocent until proven guilty is kind of the way we try and operate here. But this is something that's going to be extraordinarily difficult to clean up and to get some clear air on this case before Thursday night. To try to do some kind of damage control. Yep. Yeah, it, it is. It was the player last year that had the problem, or two years ago, Lael Collins. Was he the player uh, where there was uh, part of a, a murder investigation? Yes, and it cost him. Last yeah. year, obviously, it was Laramie Tunsil with the gas yep. mask. And Collins was the offensive lineman. So was Tunsil, for that matter, but uh, from LSU? Yep. Yeah. And I think the Cowboys took the the chance on him, and yep. he's a good one. Look, man, <laughs> these the timing is bad, I, and yet, you know, there's these are it's completely unfair. But sometimes life is unfair, and in the case of Conley, I don't want to say it's unfair because I don't know what happened. Uh, Jason asked this question: So why would a diluted sample hurt Pepper's draft stock, but not Reuben Foster's? I it, think it hurts both. Yeah, it may hurt Reuben Foster. You and I, when we saw, look, <laughs> this is what's interesting about Reuben Foster. Widely considered to be the best linebacker in the draft, but there are red flags. The incident in the combine doesn't help. Now the diluted sample doesn't help. And for the incident in the combine, he got into an argument with a hotel, uh, hotel, a hospital worker, and eventually got kicked out of the combine. When that was announced, you and I were celebrating because we thought he'll drop and be available to the Lions, right? Yes. So it'll be intriguing to see, I guess, what teams take chances and whether or not there really is the players really hurt. Uh, here is some of the f- uh, stuff that has come into the Carson Anderson inbox about this recent breaking news. Why is it that this happens every year a day or two before the draft? Collins, Tunsil, now this. 
Are teams leaking these things to engineer a free fall for a guy they want? I got to tell you, if they were and that got out, if teams leak this stuff to engineer free falls, if that got out, players and agents would be livid. <laughs> livid. Jesse has this comment. It's pretty interesting. These guys who get into situations like this before the draft troubles me. It's like winning a lottery jackpot on a Friday and have to wait to cash your ticket on Monday. I wouldn't leave the house. Well, you know what? There's truth to that, right? Like the whole Peppers thing. So the excuse is he was sick and drank a lot of fluids because he was dehydrated and had to work out. (laughs) Prior to going to the draft combine, these players are in full-on preparations. That includes all the mistakes you can make. Certainly one of those mistakes is don't give a diluted sample because you're overhydrated. This isn't new. No, what was Joe Thomas's comment? Joe Thomas's comment was you can simply have a, a, a take another test hours later. Like if you have a diluted sample, then sit around and wait till you can pee again. That's what Joe Thomas said they should do instead of just counting it as a failed drug test. Uh, it's very simple. According to her, he kept going till he, quote, finished, so the DNA will tell whether they had sex or not. Well, it, it'll tell that, but doesn't that necessarily tell you if, if, yeah, if it's rape. Although, although it, I, I mean, I guess I'm not as familiar. With a rape kit, isn't there, there are times where you can tell, right? There are other ways you can tell that it wasn't consensual. Well, I would think bruising, the bruising and, things, and yeah. Yeah, the abrasions of some kind. You know, uh, either way, it forcible. sounds... Yeah, there are ev- there's evidence of that. Uh, either way, it sounds like she's lying. What random woman just watches some strangers have sex? Either she's upset and got kicked out of the room, or she did mess around with them and she regrets it. I mean, that's uh, presuming a lot. I don't feel safe making that presumption, but all questions need to be asked here. Guys, so sick of the NFL thug league. These guys are nothing more than uneducated, low-class pieces of crap, and they stand to make millions. What a joke. Well, I don't know about that. But I will say this. The more I think about who is at the Senate, why leave the House? Why take any chances? Before the draft, you're a choir boy. I'm being locked down, man. I'm with him with all the way. I think his name was Jesse, yeah. If you're out partying, if you're out partying in public and inviting strangers into your hotel room, if you didn't do it, not a good choice. Uh, He drops one to two full rounds for being a dumb blank. I'm sure whoever drafts this guy will be giving him a firm talking to. If he ends up, if it ends up being a he said, she said case, or he goes undrafted free agent, or he goes undrafted free agent if he gets charged. If that kid is worried about how he hurts his draft stock, then maybe he should be acting the part of choir boy for a few short months before the draft. Amen. Agree with that completely. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. We got a whole bunch of ticket texts that have come in on the night games. The fact that Michigan and Michigan State and apparently all Big Ten schools no longer control when they schedule night games. That's up to the conference. That's up to the conference, and that's up to the network TV partners. And they could do it in September and October, up to twice per school. We'll get to some of that, plus more of your NFL draft fact or fiction responses. Things that you've heard about the Lions you think are fact. Things that you think are bull at it. 248-539-9797. Open lines, 97-1 the ticket.